What's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna talk about GTA 5 police mod called RDE Expanded and Enhanced. And also, I'm gonna show you guys how to install this mod. So what is RDE anyway? RDE is basically a mod which overhauls the law enforcement system in GTA 5 and making it even 10 times better than the vanilla. So what does this mod do? It has so many changes and improvements related to the game's law enforcement system, like new AI behaviors and tactics, new pets and vehicles which are law friendly, tons of new agencies, and much much more. This mod also includes support for story missions and cutscenes, light version of World of Variety mod, and fix some inconsistencies regarding the police system in the game, like for example, how Los Santos County Sheriff's Department operates in Blaine County, and also how LSPD has jurisdictions in Del Perro, Davis, Rockford Hills, LSIA, and LS Harbor. Now let me show you guys about the new agencies that are featured in Base RDE, which are Combine Base RDE with RDE Expanded and Enhanced, and you got 6 new agencies. Alright guys, without any further ado, let's begin the tutorial how to install RDE Expanded and Enhanced. But before you install this mod, you need to install this mod right here. This one right here. Also, before you install RDE, you need these mods, which are called Script Hook 5. Scripthookfeed.net nightly build, FW box streamer variable and decals limits patch, and then pack file limit adjuster. Those are the things you need for RDE. As I'm making this video, I already got these mods which are required for RDE installed in my GTA 5. Well, the process here is simple guys, you just need to copy them all to your, to your game. Okay, let me show you how. That's it. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you guys. I suggest that you install this mod over your clean copy of Grand Theft Auto 5. Or if you have any other mods that replace, uh, what is it that file called? I think it's Weapon Animations Meta or something. I forgot. Yeah, I think that's the name. You gotta install that mod, like, for example, Immersive Combat, which replaces that certain file called. Weapon animations matter. You gotta install that first before RDE so that it doesn't conflict with RDE. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm saying. So let me repeat this once again install RDE Expanded Enhanced over a clean copy of GTA 5. Or if you have any other mods that replace weapon animations matter, install that first before RDE. That's it. Alright, now proceed to a software called Open 4. You know what Open 4 is. Go to Grand Theft Auto 5. Go to the package installer. And then install RTE 4.1 and 2. Install it right to the mods folder.
Okay, done. Next, you're gonna have to install RTE Expanded and Enhanced. Go to the package installer. Install RTE ENE 1.1.4. After you're done installing both RTE and RTE Expanded and Enhanced, close the open full. You can now play Grand Theft Auto 5 with RTE Expanded and Enhanced.